Hi, I'm O'Kara Banks, costume designer, designer, and stylist to the stars. The fashion industry is more than who's wearing what. It's attitude, personality, and a lifestyle. It's a vibe. And in the Style Lounge, we get into it all. Your favorite guys and girls will sit on my couch and share their real stories as it pertains to their connection with fashion and how it shapes their work and life. And I want you to join us. Welcome to the Style Lounge. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. She's brushed up against the faces of Britney Spears, Beyonce, Scarlett Johansson, Kate Hudson, and Eva Mendez, just to name a few. She's one of the most sought after and hottest makeup artists in the industry. And she's so gen generous with her gift, she even put out a series of how-to videos with millions of views on YouTube. So you can actually learn firsthand makeup applications and tips. And if that's not enough, she's also a published novelist. So glad to have her with me in the studio and on the couch today. Celebrity makeup artist, Juliana Kay. Welcome to the Style Lounge, Julia. Thank you for having me. So, before we get started, I always ask my guests, what are you wearing? Oh, well, I'm wearing a lot of um, Louboutin with H&M in between. I like to mix high and low, you know, and then, of course, great jewelry. So okay. I have my Louboutin bag, my Louboutin shoes, and then tons of diamonds, mm -hmm. and an H&M in between. We're going to say now you have to start wearing Forever 21 until H&M cools down with all of the um, backlash you're getting. For what? Oh, my God. How do I not know about this? You have not been on social media. You've been working. I've been working. I've been busy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so really quick update. The weekend has pulled out and not working with them. And he's had two successful lines. Okay. Diddy, LeBron James all have spoke out because H&M put out this photo of a little boy, a little black boy, with a green hoodie on, saying, um, what was the exact words? The coolest monkey in the jungle. Oh, that's bad. What so are I they saying? Of, What's their Well, they excuse? apologize, and, they, and now what is being said, like, I don't want your apology. It's, uh, we don't want it. Yeah. Yep, and someone was like, let's boycott. And David Banner was like, fuck boycotting. Just stop fucking with him. <laughs> And I yeah. think people should also know, too, that um, the the advertisement was for their stores over in Europe. Mm -hmm. It wasn't in the United States. It was H&M, I want to say Sweden, mm -hmm. or so it was out of the country. Yeah. So. so since they pulled the sweatshirt from the website in the United States, I hear that it's still up in Europe. I don't think it would have been their intention, you know, if they were, but they have to be sensitive to, to be. what it means in America. And then when you see the little boy, yeah. and then you see what the other little boy was wearing, they was like, why couldn't they have not put him in another sweatshirt? Yeah. So. Well, a lot of people weren't thinking. Same with that, was it that Pepsi mm -hmm. thing that Kendall did? Yeah. Like, it's uh, all these people making decisions. That's the problem. And now one person could go, Mm, I don't know if that's a good idea. No. Or there's someone who doesn't want to say anything because they're afraid that they may lose their job. You know, that's still it. Or they don't want to rub anybody wrong. And so everyone, you know, plays along to get along. Wow. And what has happened is that they have lost millions. They should pull the ad completely. Yeah, completely. Even from Europe. Like, it's not, that's, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah. So, so while you're a busy lady... Tell me what's the latest with you. It's a busy time now with award season. What's going on with you? Yeah, um, it's so funny because December was so kind of boring, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, I like to write. So um, I've actually been writing a, a pilot. Really? That I have a lot of people interested in. And it's, um, nice. it's about a makeup artist. Okay. <laughs> Really? Really. Um, but and it's not friends. what you think. It's <laughs> not what you think. But it's um, it really exposes the underbelly of Hollywood. And, like, you know, we have our cliques. Like, we, we live this life of, um, <clears throat> you know, when you're with a celebrity. You get to go on the private plane. Whatever you're doing. Everything is top notch. It is. When you're, First class. When you're with them and you're on their schedule. Right. But then you, like, when you're done with wherever, whatever you're doing, you go home to your real life. So it's kind of like, it, 
it's kind of like the ups and downs of, you know, you're like on this private plane and then next week you're flying coach, coach. on okay. Delta, <laughs> you know, like, you're like, wait, wait. someone didn't negotiate properly. <laughs> I haven't flown coach in a while, but I'm just saying, you know, um, so, you know, in my 20s, I got Brittany and, you know, there were a lot of, not to get so deep so quickly, but, you know, I was that, that whole lifestyle, you know, we were doing Lots of bad things. But it's um, very addictive, too, to get, especially at 20, but it's still addictive, even in your 30s or 40s, to get wiped up into something like that if you've never... Oh, yeah. I was 24, and then it was, like, my whole, like, I was making more money mm -hmm. than I ever had. You know, there were drugs at my disposal. There, It was, like, it was crazy. I, I you know, my, my life was not hers, but it was. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was sort of living that crazy, fast-paced lifestyle. And, you know, I kind of mix my stories with what's happening now with social media. And with social media now, you're seeing makeup artists get put on the map, like, right away. Mm -hmm. Their whole life is on, you know, exposed. So I'm sort of marrying my what I went through and how that felt with a girl that is now, you know, in 2018 mm -hmm. that has social media. So, you know, without giving too much away, but it, um, it's sort of about the, you know, Hollywood, IG, this lifestyle, yeah. Instagram, Instagram, social media, you know, and all this stuff with like Weinstein that's just come out. Like, let me tell you. And every week. <laughs> yeah. But like, even as a makeup artist, when you're on set, you are exposed to you know, Everything. creepy producers. Yeah. As a stylist. And you feel like I have, oh my God, do I have to like let this guy talk to me this way so I can be on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not and just actresses, it's everybody. It's everyone, because women, and they, I feel like women become a product or entertainment or a thing. For me, I'm just like, oh, that's what we gotta deal with. Like, it's yeah. always been like that. Yeah, you told me that. We had this conversation. Yeah, like, it's like, okay, and, that's normal. Uh, so you didn't even think about it as anything because you thought that's just what it was. Yeah, that's just how, that's a, that's how, how it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a very interesting, I think 2018 is going to be a very you interesting know what? year. And Miss President Oprah <laughs> <laughs> has set the record straight because now you have to really think about your actions before you approach any woman. Yep. In the workplace. Well, as it should have been like that. Oh, well, they make you take those sexual harassment classes and fill out those sheets. I don't mean to go like off topic completely because we're going from makeup to this, but my husband is on a. <laughs> Um, Facebook fight right now with a, wait, hold on, a man who is, uh, you know, my friend on Facebook, um, who said, you know, if women dress provocatively, then they might have, like, he was basically talking about how all the women were dressed on the red carpet for the Globes, showing their, you know, tatas, and they go, he was like, it's not a two-way street, you can't dress like that and think that you're not going to get sexually harassed, and my husband just jump in there like are you he's like so if i go to the store and i have a hundred bucks in my pocket just because i have cash in my pocket means i'm begging to be robbed you know that's same great thing. same it's thing same thing because this is the thing at the golden globes you can't tell someone not to feel sexy it's the golden globe so if her tatas are out and she's showing, showing some skin that's your problem that you don't know how to control yourself well that's what he you. said he was like should women just because a man can't control himself get some self-control and yes. learn some discipline <laughs> because you are pervert exactly <laughs> I can see if somebody was walking down the street and you kind of lost your wits a little bit, still, you're the pervert. But the Golden Globe, seriously? Yeah. So, yeah, anyway. Yeah, you got I an just... issue. I'm good. Thank you, husband. Thank you. <laughs> My husband is great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who was your first biggest celebrity client and how did they hear about you? Was it Britney? Yeah, it was Britney. Oh, wow. Yeah, how did I was. Hear about you? So, I was working at. Um... I was doing these, so I went to school for horror makeup, special effects. Um, I'm calling you next year for Halloween. No, Go please ahead. don't. I don't work on that day. Uh, I got to do my kids. My no, kids really want to get all done. I'm really not about no, Halloween. I know. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was doing these really bad movies. Like, I was <laughs> making like $100 a day, and but it was like 14-hour days, cold and, you know, just bad Bad. Bad. And, um, yeah, so I was doing a couple of those and then working at a hair salon and 
And um, the guy that owned the salon, his wife was a makeup artist. And he was like, oh, she needs an assistant. So I assisted her on a couple of jobs. And then one of them was a job with Britney. But Britney wasn't, like, really huge yet. So she goes, do you want to do the baby one more time tour? Because, you know, at that time, bigger makeup artists, they wouldn't go on tour. Because mm-hmm. it just wasn't enough coin, you know? Like, right. So I was like, yeah, sure. So I went on tour with her. And we were a lot closer in age, and we just bonded. Right. Like, we just bonded right away, and then that was it. It was kind of baptismal fire. <laughs> um, yeah. It was just like, boom, go. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that was a really... You were, her, you were a saving grace to her, someone her age who was doing her makeup, that understood her, that she could... But yeah, that, it was pretty... You in, know, because even though she's a star, she's still 20 something. Yeah, she's still, you know, younger than me, but... Um, that whole thing was crazy because I saw her go up and I saw her kind of go down, mm-hmm. you know? And, like, it, I remember one time we were in England and we're having lunch, and she's like, let's go shopping on Neal Street, blah, blah, blah. And as soon as we walked out, there's just paparazzi everywhere, and we had to go back in the restaurant, and then her security had to secure a car the back way. Wow. And that was, and then she was, like, crying. Like, she was like, I just want to be normal. I just want to go. Why can't I just walk around down the street? So I saw the You saw the, the fame. You saw oh, everything. Yeah. Wow. She, I mean, it, there was a point where she could, we could go walking around and in Syracuse, you know, or something on the streets. And then there was a, she couldn't go out at all. Like, and that'll drive anybody a little you know, baddie. Especially if, that, if that's not what you're asking for and you're inviting. Like, she wanted it, but she didn't understand, I guess, how it was going to hit her at that time. Well, some people are equipped for it. And, and some people it, aren't. So yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, and, you know, the thing is, as a celebrity, unfortunately, I hate to say it, you have, you know, you're, you want to be famous, you're going to be exposed. That's what you sign up for. You sign up for that. Mm-hmm. You know, and also I feel like as a celebrity, you do have, especially if you're a young celebrity, you really should work at, you know, you have a responsibility to be a good, good role model if your fans are six and seven years old. And she didn't understand that. No. I think she was trying to cut out of the whole Disney mold and do her own thing and... and um, be a young adult. And... Yeah, but then she had the responsibility to have this certain image. So it's a lot of pressure. Well, I still like Toxic. I do too. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot of pressure for any, you know, 17, 18-year-old. Wow. And how old were you then? I was like 24. What a nice 20 something life to have with a mega <laughs> superstar yeah. that everyone was like going crazy over. Yep. And I still love Britney till this day. Yep. Like, you know, have you seen her body lately? Uh, yes, but she always had a nice body. She did, but it's and like it the like, best now. Oh, good for her. Right before we I wanna did. I want to see her uh, win. I just want to see her. I think she will. She's got that spark in her eye again. But there was a time where it was vacant. It was very vacant. It was like, (laughs) is anybody home? (laughs) Is anybody home? But uh, I remember right before she, remember when she ripped off the clothes? And I think it was a VH1 Awards. Uh um, She had my boxing coach uh, come on tour with us. And she would do like 800 sit-ups before every show. Wow. Yeah. Just crunch. I don't, I don't know. It looks like she she could do 2,000. She looks incredible. You yeah, she looks, she looks good. Looks she, she's there now. Really she's good. somewhere around. We can see her. What made you decide to do how-to videos? Actually, that's an interesting question. Because um, really, I thought about it, so I really want to hear this answer. <laughs> really? Okay. Really? So about eight years ago, um, I started a blog called Revolution Beauty, but it's not anymore because I just don't have time for it. But... Um, you know, I was going on YouTube and I was seeing these like really bad videos of like girls doing their own makeup, but I didn't see any professional experts doing makeup on other people. So I thought, you know, uh, why don't I start doing that and I'll do it for my blog. So I started shooting a series of videos and I didn't know where it was going to lead. And I honestly haven't done it in, in a long time. Um, You're letting everybody have with it? <laughs> Because <laughs> there's a thousand. There's of them now. too many now. Like now, I'm focusing on other things. But um, at the time, you know, I thought I was doing something groundbreaking. <laughs> well, you were. It wasn't that many people. No, but doing it as as far as ago. makeup artists, yeah. Like I was. Um, but it really was great because those videos got me a lot of branding deals. Oh, fabulous! And um, 
you know, there's a lot of makeup and hair and stylists that n don't talk on camera very well. Mm -hmm. So they're great when they're with their clients, but as soon as they see the, a camera, they're they, like, uh, they're very uh, awkward. Uh, uh, you know. And how about this? Yeah, and they they're not thorough yeah. when they they speak, you know. And mm -hmm. I know that's still a lot of problem. Um, with most people. Well, yeah, a lot of brands, they're like, you're so, oh my God, you're so good on camera, thank God. We didn't have to take that a hundred times. Because I'm so media trained. Like, I grew up in LA. I was an actress as a kid. You're an LA girl. I'm an LA girl, yeah. But, you know, like, I grew up <laughs> acting, you know. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I am, um, oh my God, I had some embarrassing commercials. So I you were ready you. for this life, huh? I was ready for this so life. So, how, how old were you when you started doing makeup on yourself? Oh, God, I mean, I've always. Were you too? But I went to private school, so <laughs> I wasn't allowed. So, you really did it? Um, well, I didn't, and when I went to high school, I went to public high school, so then I really, like... <laughs> She's like, get me out of this uniform, let me yeah, free. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember. It was like a fresh Prince of Bel-Air moment for you. Was, <laughs> like, get me out of here. It was so funny, because I remember uh, Sister Stella would grab my friend Carla, and she's Italian, so she had, like, naturally, beautifully black lashes. Like, oh, it wow. looked like she had liner, but she didn't wear makeup. And she would grab her and be like, wash your makeup off! <laughs> and Carla's like, I'm not wearing makeup. Like, I'm just pretty. <laughs> oh, they were strict, yeah. So I, when, how old were you? Oh, so I guess, yeah, uh, my teenage years, I was really playing with it a lot. And then, um, like, around 18, I really started getting experimental with it, having, like, a good time with it, ripping out pictures of magazines oh, wow. and, you know, the old fashioned way. Nobody told me how to do it. I just had to figure it out. So you had a lot of ah uh, moments. Yes. <laughs> like, well, one ooh. of, this is an interesting thing because I, okay, I didn't really uh, know how to do hair when I went to tour with Brittany, okay? Mm -hmm. She handed me a bag of extensions. Oh, no. Oh, no, hold on. She hands me a bag of st extensions and I hand them back to her. I go, no, you don't need those. She goes, no, 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 I do. And I was like, no, 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 no. I give them back to her. She taught me how to put hair pieces in. Oh. But here's the thing. Had I known, like, we didn't have YouTube. So I had to figure this shit out myself. Because YouTube, yeah. you can learn anything on YouTube. Yeah. There's that's no like, reason for you to say you don't know how to do anything. Exactly. And so, like, the makeup artists and the hairdressers and the stylists, they all have, like, such... <laughs> like, we didn't have that. So we had to figure everything out on our own. Now it's like you can just fast track to any any yeah. career. You which can. is kind of not fair. It is not fair because we worked really hard. And dealt, you dealt with some stuff. Mm hmm I have dealt with some stuff. But, I know, you know I have, but you have. I was, have. I was telling you the other day, like, yeah. they're, they're not coming for me. Mm -mm. You know, I've got my established clients. Like, I'm not worried about them. Mm -hmm. But it is, like, you know, they do have it, you know, pretty easy. <laughs> they have it really easy. Instagram has really helped a lot. And you yeah, could, because you could just look up the, a, the only difference is they are so fan-driven or excited if it's a celebrity that calls on them that they don't get their money. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's, that's a whole money. other topic mm -hmm. of people not knowing their worth and working and for they, free. And, and they driving really them. don't know what, how much they really can make. There's a whole, there's a, there's a, a group of famous makeup artists and hairstylists and they do it for the gram. They do it, do it for, for the, the gram. gram. And it's I'm so glad that they, they have a G-Wagon that their parents paid for and pay for their life so they can yes. do it for the gram. And Good for them. It, and right. yeah, I'm like, how mm. in the heck are you able to do this? I know she's not paying. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yes, you know, I do. You know, a cup one or two, you like, I don't know how you're doing that, but <laughs> please don't get locked up because you know they have, there has been a moment. You know who's a really amazing makeup artist is Hung Van Gogh, Lottie, like, those artists, like, they, when I look at their work, I'm like, whoa, like, their brain is oozing creativity, mm -hmm. and, like, they they are the real deal, mm -hmm. you know? There's this one girl. I have mad respect for them. There's this one girl, I just, actually, I don't know where I've been, but I, I'm just now getting into makeup, other than if somebody puts it on me. Mm -hmm. um, she did something with Zendaya. She's a cover girl. Mm -hmm. I think cover girl had her... They had her a part of this campaign, and so it was her and Zendaya, and they were talking about makeup. And she's like full figure, fair skin, blonde hair, very short, cut hair. Might have been Lottie. Might, I don't it know. Lottie? It might be her. I don't, I don't know if her hair's that short. But it's like a Caesar cut. It's like a uh, Amber Rose cut. Oh no no no. And I literally just saw her and Zendaya on something. I don't know who that is. We gotta fi figure yeah, it out. We can go to Zendaya's page. But Zendaya's such a pretty girl too, and yeah. she—that's you know what? She's like, a nice canvas. Yes, and she'll let you do whatever. Like if she's, you are talented. She's, uh huh. Have the how-to videos 
in any way spark you to start your own product line, hmm. makeup line, be like the next Bobby Brown or... This is interesting because um, I've gone through so many waves of I'm going to do something, I'm not, I'm going to. I'm surprised you haven't. Because I have a friend that has her own makeup line and it's, it's work. It's a lot of work. Anytime mm -hmm. you do anything, clothing line. It's so much work. So and it's so much money, and I had, I'd have, like, at one point I was... Uh, Every day I think about it. Every well, day. It's hard because, like, you know, I was team, I was going to team up with this Chinese manufacturer, mm -hmm. and I was going to do all the creative and then the social media part of it and whatever. And then that sort of fizzled through. And then I was going to do capsule collection for this and that. but And then I was going to do brush line. But then once I start getting into it, I'm like, whoa, I just it don't... It never stops. I don't know if I have the the time for this. <laughs> Maybe you'll be a writer. Maybe you'll, that'll be your thing since you like writing. Now, like, I want to do um, shows. Like, I want this I'm to turn into you. a show. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like it's weird because, um, you know, makeup to me now is, like, just something that pays the bills. Oh, my God. I just <laughs> said, I said this to someone else, like, styling now. I, I mean, I still enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, when I go in, I still want to see the beautification of it. I still want to go, okay, that's great. But now it's my investor and it pays the bills. Yeah, and you know what? I'm not, I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer here, yeah. but, you know, I have been doing this for a long time. And, you know, well, the last time I felt any excitement was when I went to do Beyonce. How do you juggle catering to the industry as an artist and being a present mom and wife? Because you're very present. Well, actually, I... I what, you are know My that. husband, no, my husband is like a rock star. Because I travel like... I was supposed to be gone the whole month of December, but then the hurricane happened, so all these things got canceled. But I don't know if you know, but I usually leave in July and August. I go on trips with my clients. Um, yeah, and I'll leave my husband with the kids for like... Yeah, because you, you do be out. Oh, yeah, I do. And people are like, how are you living like that? But yeah, so my husband, he like you, such a rock star. He takes the kids well. to school. <laughs> He let me sleep in this morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have a good hubby. I know. And and he works. Fave fashion go-tos. I know you like black. Like, I know you like black so much, actually. <laughs> it's a makeup artist uniform, to be quite honest with you. Did, do I have a package it over is. there? I have something for her. Oh. It's black. Yay. Nope. Can you look out in the bag and see in a plastic bag, one of my items? Okay. <laughs> Your go-to fave fashion when you're on set. And even if it's black. Okay. It's always black. Um, but it also depends on my weight, which is oh. really sad. <laughs> because when, yeah, when I'm on my, like, heavier side, I don't dress as, as great. So what do you wear to work? Oh, God. Always, usually, like, a jean, like a skinny jean and a Louboutin or a Gucci sneaker. She's like, I'm always designer ready. I'm always designer ready. But like I said, you know, I keep a lot of the in-between, like, free people or... Mm -hmm. Casual, and then um, I love like All Saints, free people. I love people. All Saints. But like, yeah, like a leather jacket, and I'm always layered like in, I love my jewelry. So, my I accessories. know, because you are you all diamond out right now. you see my story that's happening here? Yeah, I see that. I With love Lola it. and James, I love Jack and Luke. Yep. It's really good. And then this, I got, oh, I got a nice diamond person downtown. Oh, you got to give me that. You I know, will. Real, Like, for real. I can't Don't say it over the air. That's fine. No, you it's our secret. It. It's a secret. So, uh, Faye Fashion, when you are with the kids, being a mom. Ha! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, look homeless, perpetually <laughs> homeless when I'm home. Are you in sweats? But I'm in, like, designer sweats. Wait, so this is the thing. <laughs> She she's wealthy shop. She's wait. No, I gotta be comfortable. She's disshuffled with <laughs> quality fashion. So she looks homeless but in cashmere. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? I know it's funny the other day because I had a uh, my Chrome Heart sweatpants, which are God knows how much, and like my Giuseppe Zanotti mangled high she's tops. Like, my quality like... <laughs> is impeccable, but let me tell you, I look homeless. I know, but like I'll go to the store and and I'm like, they must think I'm homeless, but I'm actually really just quite nice. <laughs> That's what she actually texts me. She was like, I'm real casual, but I'm in designer. <laughs> I was like, that's your disclaimer to everything. That's your kind of comeback. I'm very casual, but I am the designer. Look, if I feel like, and I know this sounds generic, but it's true. If you got a really nice bag and nice shoes, that's it. whatever happens and uh, elsewhere middle, is fine. Do you know how many people have said that? Two people have said that. Today? No. Two <laughs> guests. 
The oh. previous guest. Oh. It was like, I got a good shoe and a good handbag, and then I just got to work it out in the middle. Because you know what? Be, what did everybody say? Oh my God, I love your shoes. I love well, your bag really, as soon as I walk in. Well, really, that's what it's about. Even yeah. for me. Like, I wear a lot of my pieces, but I really, you know, my shoe and my handbag. And I like clutches. I'm a clutch girl. Oh, really? I really am. I have so many clutches. Oh my God. I collect them. Like, yeah. You got to come over and see my closet because you would just be like, I just gave uh, my friend a bunch of shoes to sell on eBay because I was like, if they got to go, got to get a new pair. <laughs> I have to sell five <laughs> well, Louis Vuittons to get when one. When you get but... rid of, you you also receive. Yeah, you do, especially when you're co doing consignment. Exactly. So Kristen Louis Vuittons hurt. I can't. I've tried many times. They hurt. Because they're like more of a narrow and my shoe. Fit, and I have a nice foot. They just hurt. And no, I just can't. Givenchy's are really comfortable, I find. I can go for hours. Mm -hmm. I have tried on a pair of G Fungi. You need, yeah, they're so, I have a, I a just, couple of I all those really heels. I really want to wear the bloody shoes, but they feel just like that, bloody shoes. Oh. They, I mean. the, I've tried, and or the arch, I'm like, why? <laughs> so I Fashion what, or function. You know what, I need both these days. <laughs> so I do do a lot of Giuseppe. Yeah, Giuseppe I love Giuseppe. Giuseppe's, Giuseppe's work really good on my feet. So I'll go to that and who else? And I've been buying a lot of Stuart Weitzman, their boots. Really? I don't have any Stuart Weitzman. They had a great little run with their boots this season. Really? See, I was all about Gucci. And you know what's. Well, Gucci's Gucci, but it's like, I feel like Stuart Weitzman is a designer staple piece that every girl should hair wear with For a dressy set. shoe. A dressy shoe, and they actually had some good boots. I got my white pair and my red. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's I was working those Gucci. I got the ones with the safety pin, and then I got the one. With um, the lips on the side, but I am so over those shoes. Like, I want to just well, they're too, get rid of them you, now. They need to look like art. There was one pair that Gucci had, but when I went to went to get them, they had sold out everywhere. And I was on a hunt for them for, like, three months. <laughs> and My now, girl, like, Palmello, you, you I wouldn't was be like, caught you... at wearing them. Oh, no, I actually, I could, because I like art. If I'm going to drop that kind of money for some shoes, I'm going, they have to be something I can recycle. Mm -hmm. They were amazing. They had them in black, but the black didn't do what the aqua blue was doing for me. And you couldn't find it. And I couldn't find it. The other thing is, Fendi did some good boots. I have, I did grab a pair of those boots. I tried those red ones that everybody was wearing. Mm -hmm. My calf said, hell no. <laughs> like, literally, no. And I was like, I will not be, no, you don't. Just some people are like, well, you should still go and then get them cut. I was like, they're already seventeen hundred dollars. Oh, I'm gosh, not doing no. that, and I have to alter them. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just don't have the pencil calf. Yeah, I like to go like there's. Did you? Well, Givenchy did a boot this year, but and I wanted to buy it, but it was a, literally almost a carbon copy of the Chloe boot that was done like three years ago. Well, do you know? You what know I'm they're repeating about? everything. I know, but I don't know. I like to buy things that I can wear for years. Okay. So since you wear so many designer pieces, which mm -hmm. we love, mm -hmm. what's your fave fashion when you're out with your girls? Because I think you're not homeless and I actually think you step it up. <laughs> I, do, I do step it up when what's I go out. What's your fave fashion? Oh, God, a little, a little black dress and a cute booty. Yeah, I don't like... And I love like a maxi kind. Oh, jumper, jumpsuit. What am I thinking? Why didn't I, I say that first? I love jumpers. Yes. Yeah, so it's all about that for the past few years. I can do that and throw a tennis shoe on and go to work, and I can throw a heel on, and then I'm out for the night. Then you're going to love your gift. Is it a jumpsuit? It's a harem pant jumpsuit. <gasps> it's a black jumpsuit. Oh, jumper. my God. I love living <laughs> color. And it's black. Oh, my God. Can I, I open this yes now? Yes, you can. You can rattle that plastic all over these microphones. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I'm living. Uh, you can wear sneakers oh, and harem pants. Oh, I love this. This is great. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been meaning to give you that for, like, the longest. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring it today. So. Oh, I'm going to live in this. Yes, you are. I don't are. know how the girls are going to live in that. Like, <laughs> Which girl? Is it, they're strapless, oh, right? Oh, <laughs> but it's good. It's really good. It's, it's going to I'm telling you. Okay. It's going to hold nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we know her fave fashion is jumpers with a booty or sneaker. <laughs> well, no. The jumper would be, would be a high heel. You can do those with a heel, too. Hmm? Like it, it, my oh, piece, I would totally yeah, do my it. Because it's from my clothing line. The pieces are very interchangeable. So I'll sometimes even hike them up over my calves and do a sneaker. Cute. So this um, would be cute like in San, when I go to San Tropez this summer. Okay, yeah. Just or, belt, belt or her up and with some, some Valentino sandals. Yeah, or if the weather's <laughs> nice, you might be. You may not want to take it off this summer. I probably won't take yeah, it it's off. It's very comfortable, and it's really flattering on. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about jump, uh, cat suits, jumpsuits, whatever. They're so like, and they're flattering for everybody. And they're flat if it's made right. 
Yeah. And the fabric's nice. But flattering, comfortable. Mm -hmm. It gives you enough girl, enough body shaping. And I it's love something with a pocket. Mm -hmm. Like I love a cute jumpsuit with a little pocket. Mm -hmm. and... That's okay. I you like this. You got a big bag. <laughs> <laughs> so before you go, um, what do you have going on next? For, for those who don't know already, where can they find you on social media? Oh, um, what do I have going on next? I don't know. I think this year is going to be full of surprises. That's what I feel. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. Someone I'm... asked me that. I was like, there's things I have going on, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I know what I feel, but I just don't. I, I have a lot, a lot of long game things going on yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I'm busy, you know, I'm doing my clients, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually really excited about... Um, one of my clients is going to have a really big year, so we'll see. So you'll have a big year. Which means I will. Um, yeah, Kylie Bunbury. She was the star of Pitch. Oh, I love that show. And so she's in a movie with Jason Bateman coming out called Game Night. That'll be exciting to ride along her little journey. And then mm. I have a bunch of other clients. Oh, Christy Love. Yes, Christy Love. The new, oh, my God. Yeah. So isn't that cool? That's yeah. nice. So I'm excited like for... And How then, long you been working with her? Back couple of years and you know Tia, Tia Mori, yeah. she's going to have a baby. Yes. So I'm really excited to be auntie. Aww. Yeah. So I'm just more excited to see what my, wherever my clients go is where I go. Yeah. But as far as like, you, you know. You did some nice girl. You beat the heck out of her face. I'm thank still you. I'm trying to let her touch me but she's too busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll touch you. I know you will. <laughs> But it's so funny, our text messages. She was like, girl, I was like, I already know. I have actually sent the same text to someone else. Did you know how much I am? I was like, I've actually sent the same word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. But no, and, she was, and then she'll send all these emojis and happy face and hearts. I was like, you don't have to make me feel like you're not trying to. I, lo I love speaking emoji. Because oh text is very, you don't really. Well, I sound like a bitch when I text. If I don't Me too. Have, that's, that's why, why the emojis the are great. And people go, I was like, but the emoji isn't real. <laughs> you know you're not laughing out loud. My favorite emoji is that new one where the eyes are like this. Oh, yeah, I just used like that Like the one. crazy one. And then the head exploding. I love that one. It's like. <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. That's why I'll pick up the phone kind of quick. Because mm -hmm. I am so direct, when, I, especially when I'm moving. And I told a friend, I was like, I sound like a bitch when I'm texting. They was like, yeah, you do. I was like, but I'm not trying to. I just don't do all the, like, I can't even find the emojis that quick. <laughs> takes me too long. Oh. I don't play with them long enough. So, anyhow. So, so where can we find you on social media for those who don't already know? All of my socials are my name, at Julianne K. Can you spell Julianne K? Yes, for I can. Who don't know how to spell? It's J-U-L-I-A-N-N-E K-A-Y-E. It's pretty much, yeah, on Instagram. That's, um, my YouTube is, I think, Rev Beauty. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to change the name, so that's what it is, but and then, yeah, everything else is at Julianne K. So you hear people live your dream, transition is great, you can do whatever you want. No matter just, what age. No matter what age, no matter where you are in your life, just live your dream. But you have to work. 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 Um, thank you for hanging out with <laughs> us in the Style Lounge. Yeah, Juliana thanks for having K. me. I want to do this again. You have to. Everybody wants to do it again, don't they? It's nice. so much fun. I don't cry. I really like it. You like? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. good. Thank you, Zalyn. <laughs> See, you got, you got some good skill. I, you know what I was saying, like it's, how often would you meet a stylist that can do this? Like you could have your own radio show, you know what I mean? Like this is not easy, it's like. What we, you like know. Well, I have OCD and I'm a little special. <laughs> <laughs> I will accept that. But um, you know what? I love it, Juliana. I really love doing this. It's really fun. Um, I have a good time because I have to reach out to people I haven't seen and everyone comes in here. It's very feel good. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do. I didn't think I was going to be comfortable doing it. At first, it was a little rocky, I thought, you know, and every now and then I think, I'm going to stop doing this. <laughs> but when I get here, it's like, oh, I can do this all day. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're just talking to friends, you know, it's like yeah. talking to friends. And, and even if it's someone I don't really know, by the time I do, like, even, you know, by the time they sit here, it's like we know each other, mm -hmm. you know, and I think they feel comfortable. Oh, that's all that's you. the hashtag, get comfortable. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get comfortable in my harem <laughs> yes, pants. Yes, please. I can't wait for you to wear And I'm going to do the MC Hammer dance yes, and video can. it and send right. it to you. Hilarious. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, girl. Thank I love you. you. I really appreciate it. Bye. Bye.